So hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a skincare related video. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are not new, welcome back. And today's video is a video that I um, was suggested to do, but it's something I thought about doing and it's about mass knee. So today we're gonna talk about what mass knee actually is, what causes mass knee, and also I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can treat mass acne and then also some tips on how you can you know just make sure that your skin is free of any breakouts with wearing the mask so first of all is what is mass knee we already know about acne um, but mass acne is not a new form of acne it is actually called acne mechanica which is due to heat and friction um, that's what causes mass knee and when you think about acne in general if you do not know acne is formed by oil dead skin and then lastly it's a breeding ground for bacteria to thrive so that is the formula for actual acne whether that's pustule acne whether that's their acne that you see that has really red and has that white head to it or whether that's your cystic acne the acne that never surfaces and that's really hard to the touch and that is really painful so when you're wearing a mask I want you to kind of imagine just I'm gonna take you on a nice trip in my favorite rocket ship <laughs> I want you just to imagine you have the mask on and the mask you have most of your oil glands on your face there are some oil glands located on your body as well but most of your oil glands are located on your face you put a mask that actually encapsulates this area of your face and like I said you're producing oil in this area typically if you are already someone that's oily and acne prone you have a lot of excess oil that builds up in your pores and like I said for acne, the formula for acne is oil, dead skin, and then it's a breeding ground for bacteria to thrive, and then that's why you have acne. So with these masks, it's creating a environment that's enclosed. You have oil right here. You have the friction, which is kind of irritating depending on what kind of mask you have. And then you have moisture that's coming from your breath. And so this creates a more human environment underneath the mask. So I wanna give you a couple tips to how to combat and prevent mask knee. The first tip that I want to stress to you is make sure that you pick your mask carefully. And this obviously is like a no brainer, but if you haven't thought about it, you know, having a certain mask will have an impact on if you're dealing with mass acne or at what rate you're dealing with mass acne um, and it's something that i had to really think about in the beginning when we were all indoors and then we finally like opened back up and we were like living our life with the mask that people were wearing a lot of people were wearing like the medical grade disposable mask if you could get those because everything was selling out um, some people were wearing like cotton masks and what I've concluded and even talking with other people about masks and mass acne um, I've concluded that I personally prefer to wear um, the disposable masks the medical grade ones that are blue um, and I'm saying blue because they're specifically I want you to think about the blue ones um, and then also silk masks so with the blue mask um, I don't think they have like they're not lined with any chemicals or anything um, I have recently been wearing like the black disposable mask but someone pointed out to me and I actually thought about it myself um, I have been dealing with a little bit more acne around where my mask is and that could be due from the black disposable mask if you are unfamiliar with those they sell them on Amazon and a lot of people have been experiencing acne with wearing those but when I thought about it I personally think that the best mask for you actually to wear and I think this is great for anyone's uh, from normal skin to more oily acne prone skin to those that have more sensitive skin like people that are dealing with like rosacea or eczema or psoriasis I honestly think the best mask personally of course you have to have the safe the safest mask as well because obviously corona is live and well but the best mask in my opinion is a silk mask I talked about silk in my video about acne because with silk pillowcases they really do they are a game changer if you're dealing with acne 
or if you just want your skin to retain moisture um, and you don't want a lot of friction um, when you you know roll around in your sleep and also it doesn't feel really rough on the skin it kind of glides on the skin so personally silk for me is a better option for a face mask of course with silk mask um, and I'm pretty sure people would think like how safe is that I can actually link one that I just got not too long ago it's by the brand Blissly and it's actually a hundred percent mulberry silk um, I use a hundred percent mulberry silk pillowcase so I personally love it I bought that on Amazon and this mask I don't believe you can buy on Amazon but this mask is just very nice it's a very thin lightweight mask you can actually adjust the straps around your ear so that it's not super tight or not super loose it also has a nose um i don't know what you call it but like a nose clamp so you can kind of clamp it down on your nose to make sure you're protected but of course like i said you can personally decide if you want to get a silk mask i personally think if you're dealing with mask knee um, this would be a better option but of course you can always look into you know the safety of it and then of course if you can look into filters just to put in your silk mask then definitely do that so my next tip for people that are dealing with mask knee is make sure you're gently cleansing your skin and people that are dealing with acne in general i kind of keep this in mind you want to use a very gentle cleanser that doesn't strip the skin of its natural oils you just want a cleanser that's more soothing maybe something that helps to regulate oil production um, and you honestly want to gently cleanse the most important cleanse is at night i always stress this to people but you know if you can't cleanse your skin in the morning you generally you really don't have to you can honestly just wake up in the morning use some lukewarm water go into the rest of your routine but the cleanse at night is the most important one because we're out and about there's pollution you know things settle into our skin and we need to make sure that we're doing a thorough cleanse at night so make sure you thoroughly cleanse your skin at night with a very gentle cleanser and i actually will leave of course some product recommendations down below as well as the mask but you make sure to gently cleanse your skin next tip that I have for people that are dealing with mass knee is make sure to keep your skincare regimen simple and this is something I already you know try to implement in my own regimen sometimes I get tempted to just like shake it up but I reel myself back in and I try to keep my skincare regimen pretty simple for the most part and I would stress this to you that are dealing with mask knee is to not wear makeup that much like obviously we're not really going anywhere I mean if you are traveling of course and you want to wear makeup you could go ahead and wear makeup but makeup is another added layer and it is going to be a determining factor to if you're dealing with more breakouts because you have that encapsulated like area so i would say personally skip makeup um i told you guys like i literally only wear makeup when i make videos these days and honestly i do like i had to come up with grips i was like i actually kind of miss wearing makeup um if you can but if you cannot just make sure that you're thoroughly you know removing your makeup with a light cleansing oil and then going into your initial gentle cleanser next tip that i have for people that are dealing with mass knee is make sure that you are using acne treatment products so that is products that have like acne fighting ingredients so there are various acne fighting ingredients out there um, ones that are great and i personally love are salicylic acid alizelic acid retinol sulfur these are all really great acne fighting ingredients that help to actually target acne if you are someone that is dealing with mass knee you can use a actual spot treatment that contains some of these ingredients but if you are someone of course that already is more of an oily or acne skin type you should honestly have these ingredients in some of the treatment products that you already have to treat your acne so make sure you're using acne fighting ingredients and that's really going to help to attack that actual acne and i have other videos so the last tip for people that are dealing with mass knee is make sure you have light layers and i know this may sound like huh 
but um generally i'm more of an oilier and acne prone skin type but underneath the mask since it's actually encapsulating this this one area of your face i say go for very light light layers like light layers of you know just light skincare layer. So that's either you do like a serum, um, you go ahead and use like a light, like a not super heavy, thick, like moisturizer. Of course, if you want, um, I would say use your oils at night if you're someone that's using like oils or anything. Um, or you can just like layer that on top as a last layer to really seal in moisture. But just use light layers to, you know, seal in moisture and so that you don't have any super heavy products on your skin that could potentially, you know, sit on your skin and worsen your acne or you never know it could just sit on your skin and kind of be clogging your pores this was my video all about mask knee i hope that you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you gained some knowledge out of this video if you did make sure you give me a thumbs up it honestly really helps i used to see people and they would mention this and i mentioned it in one of my newer videos but if you have gained some knowledge out of this video definitely give me a thumbs up definitely make sure that you subscribe and as always thank you guys so much for watching and bye bye it's me diane and i'm your sister i'm gonna be giving you guys this is my sister that up. doesn't moisturize her face and she used body lotion